Hello, my name is Brad, and I'm a medical student at the University of Vermont Larner College of Medicine. In this video, part of a series on special populations, we will discuss the LGBTQ population. The lesbian, gay, bisexual, trans, and queer community encompasses a diverse group of individuals and intersects with other populations discussed in this series. According to data from the Williams Institute at UCLA, the LGBTQ community makes up approximately 4.5% of the U.S. population. Discrimination and lack of support systems have been associated with increased risk of mental health disorders, substance use, and suicide. Specifically, older transgender individuals are less likely to have support from family and friends and more likely to have faced stigma and discrimination due to their gender identity. These numbers are even higher in the Black and Latinx subpopulations. The Human Rights Campaign estimates that 5 million LGBTQ individuals work in jobs that have been impacted by COVID-19, including food services, retail, and education. Overall, LGBTQ plus individuals are more likely to be impoverished compared to the general population, with highest rates of poverty seen in cisgender bisexual women, the entire transgender population, and especially Black and Latinx trans women. A 2018 study found that compared to 12% of the general U.S. population, 17% of LGBTQ plus individuals are uninsured. Lack of access to health insurance, along with increased rates of comorbidity such as asthma, diabetes, and HIV, leaves this population increasingly vulnerable to COVID-19. This population is also more likely to avoid healthcare services due to fear of discrimination and overall distrust of the healthcare system. LGBTQ youth are also vulnerable to the psychological impact of social distancing. LGBTQ plus children, teens, and young adults who may have sought comfort and support from peers and trusted adults at school are now at risk for social isolation and being quarantined in unsupportive households. A 2015 subset of the Youth Risk Behavior Study found that LGBTQ youth had an increased prevalence of drug use and thoughts of suicide and self-harm. The 2015 U.S. Transgender Survey found that having one supportive adult in their life can drastically reduce the risk of depression, anxiety, and suicidal ideation in transgender youth. If you or someone you know is struggling, please utilize any of the resources below. To learn more about COVID-19, please visit publichealthcoalition.org.